Hi guys and welcome to the first video review of the cardboard review. I'd like to thank Panini for providing this box of Elite for uh, my review. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and open this box of 2011-12 uh, Panini Elite Hockey in front of you guys and we'll see what we get and we'll talk about the cards a little bit, the good, the bad, and all that kind of good stuff. So. Again, huge shout out to Panini for providing this box. Really do appreciate it. As it says on the box, you get five cards per pack and 20 packs per box. 20 packs is actually quite a bit of packs. Um, a lot of products now don't nearly have 20 packs per box in them. Some of the lower end stuff will have 24 packs per box. But a lot of the mid end stuff, like certified um, from Panini, they don't have that many. They only like 10 packs per box. Here's a stack of packs. As usual, comes with a checklist, which is great. This will be a video review, but check out uh, my website, The Cardboard Review. It's thecardboardreview.blogspot.com. I'll leave a link below if you want to see a written review of Panini Elite, and if you want to check out what other collectors are saying about the product, please go check it out there. And a lot of times I will have contests going on to win cards from Panini and um, other card companies as well. Let's go ahead and start. This is going to be pack one. All right, so we have a base card. This is what the base card looks like, standard base card. Um, very shiny, also very thin. Here is the front, Keith Yandel of the Coyotes, and the back. Does have a very clean design. Um, looks very much like the older Elite used to, like. Um, late 90s elite, early 2000s elite, very shiny border, really nice, um, elegant design. Might be a little simple for some, but um, overall looks pretty good. In fact, it's so mirror you can see the, the camera I'm using as well. But a very nice card indeed. Okay, let's go through some more packs. Right off the bat, I did get a hit. It looks like a game used jersey of James Neal. Okay, very nice. Um, this is a very nice looking insert. You can tell that this portion down below with the Pittsburgh Penguins logo, some of this versions, some of these versions of these inserts will have autographs that are down there. This one does not. And on the back, there is no numbering on the standard jersey swatch. Okay, pack two. We have a die cut here of Alexander Edler. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and open all the packs and we'll talk about the cards a little bit. We have an Elite Series of Taylor Hall and Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Again, you can see the camera through the very shiny foil. Some decoys and some more base. Okay, all base pack right there. And we have a elite rookie stars of Devonte Smith Pelly. And elite, you know, you'll notice he, you know, makes the effort to make some non-game used inserts more interesting, and I really do appreciate that aspect of them. Oh, this is a nice card right here. Die cut of Jordan Eberle. Definitely I'm finding some parallel cards as well as standard inserts in these 20 packs. Decoy and the rest are base. Looks like we have a hit here. Joe Colborne, New Breed. Blue jersey swatch. And some more base. Okay, another die cut. This time a gold die cut card of Derek Stepan. You can see just how shiny Panini makes these cards. Special hollow foil on there. And this is numbered 4 of 99. So the gold cards are number 2. 
the standard red parallel die cut, they are unnumbered, but I know that the rookie cards from that series are indeed numbered. We have another die cut here of Mike Richards. Base, base. And it looks like we have a rookie card of Blake Jeffreyon, the Predators. This card is numbered 40 of 99. So it looks like it could be a short print rookie. For 40 of 99. And a couple more base cards. I do expect to have four hits from this box, so I'm looking for two more hits. We'll see if we get them. Here's one. Ben Scrivens, autograph rookie card. Now, unlike the other rookie card, which is number 99, this one does not feature any numbering on it. And we have an elite series of Steven Stamkos. We have a Semyon Varlamov die cut parallel card. Looks like we have a standard insert in this set, uh, in this, sorry, in this pack. A Matthew Shane Stars insert card. And it looks like we have a an elite signings of Ryan McDonough. Now this is a sticker autograph card. Elite signings. And then we have base. Okay, an all base pack. We have about three more packs to go. Let's see if we get an extra hit or some more insert cards to get. We have a Joel Ward red parallel. Getting a lot of those red parallel cards in this. We have a numbered card here. Chris DeHaan, number two, 999, rookie card. And here's the numbering 578 of 999. Decoy. And we have our last pack here. It looks like we have an Adam Henrique rookie card, number two, 999. Outstanding rookie this year. And a couple more base cards as well. So let me talk about the set a little bit. Um, first of all, like I, like I said earlier, it is sort of a more old school set. This does remind me a lot of what it looked like in the late 90s, early 2000s. And um, does come on that razor thin cardstock. I do like the back. It's a very clean design. There's a lot of space, but it's not like any of the space was wasted. It is interesting that the numbering is here rather than in the very corner. Sometimes it can make it a little bit more difficult for set collectors. I mean, if I'm a set collector, I love the numbering like at the very, very top. So when I'm flipping through the cards, it's really quick and easy to see the numbering, but it's not too bad. And one line of stats, so not tons of stats, but it's definitely enough. Uh, I'm not a huge stats guy. I don't know how many people actually look at the career statistics as much anymore, but um, I guess one line will do. And of course, there's a little write-up at the bottom. It is an elegant design, but the problem with these is they are very prone to fingerprints. So I, you know, I don't want to ruin any of the cards, but if, you know, if I put my fingers all over it, the fingerprints do show up quite a bit on both the base cards and the inserts. One thing about these cards, I find um, the photography is nice but I don't think it's like super outstanding photography. I think they've done the best they can, but I think this type of a design, it's not as much about the photography um, so much. Especially since it's not a full action shot, the borders really kind of crop out any action that could be around the player, but they're nice. Like this um, anti Niemi actually looks pretty good, I think. In terms of inserts, um, I did get quite a few got quite a few parallel cards here. Let's count up the red ones. One, two, three, four, five. Five red parallels and a gold parallel. I'm not sure what shape this is. I know Panini tends to do a lot of die cutting and um, 
I'm not a huge fan of die cuts that don't mean a whole lot. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be a die cut of, but um, relatively good looking. Although I do think the border color, the red, is a little bit harsh. I would have preferred something lighter. The gold, though, does look pretty good. I think the gold stands out. It does have that special foil on it that makes it stand out even more. And it is numbered, so numbering is good, but these guys aren't numbered at all. The rookie cards, um, they are pretty cool. They have that blue background. If you read my review, I wasn't a huge fan of the blue background. It does make it stand out quite a bit, but it is... Um, I think it is a bit much. I would have preferred like a light blue. Panini used a sort of a light blue on their Crown Royal rookie cards. I really like that color. I wish this was a little bit softer. But um, still not a bad looking rookie card. And the autographed versions have that special foil as well. You can tell the extra shimmer and the extra shine on that card. And here's Ben Scrivens. It is really nice that it is an on-card autograph, not a sticker autograph. Anytime you get on-card autographs, it's much better. Uh, we didn't get any patches in this box. I think getting patches out of this product is a little bit hard. We got two types of inserts. We got this sort of standard elite materials. This reminds me a lot of Pinnacle Threads. Just a standard sort of jersey card. Uh, you can tell the tiering. There's going to be a patch version, an autographed version of this card. This is probably the lowest version of that kind of card. It does look nice though. I do like the design. I think the design is quite nice. Here's another insert, uh, the New Breed inserts. You're going to get quite a bit of these in your Elite boxes. Again, there is a big you know, space for where there could be an autograph. And again, this is just a standard, the standard um, New Breed insert. It does look, to me, this one look, does look a little bit generic. I'm not a huge fan of this New Breed design, but um, it's, not, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Lastly, um, we do have quite a few of these standard gold inserts. I think these are pretty nice. Like I said in my when I was breaking the box, you know, these cards are nice. You know, Panini, I really do respect them for trying to bring back sort of non-game used, non-autographed insert cards. They um, do make a difference, I, I do feel. Um, it it kind of adds something to the product, especially for player collectors. It's great to get some. So if I collected, for example, Tail Hall, this would be a nice one to, to add to the collection. All right, overall, um, a box of Elite will run you about $120. Some people are saying that's a little bit high, but you do get 20 packs per box. You know, if, if, if the box price was $10 lower or $20 lower and they took out maybe 10 of the packs, um, I don't think collectors would complain too much. I think collectors really just want the hits nowadays. And so if it went down to $100 and you cut the packs in half and still got your four inserts, I think people would still enjoy the product a lot. But I really had a fun time breaking the product. I mean, if you look, this is this is like not even half of the break. I'm going to try to put it all together for you. I mean, this is a pretty substantial set of cards you're getting for your $120. A lot and a lot of base cards. So if you, if you, I mean, if you're a big, if you like hockey cards and collecting just cards, you get tons of cards here. And so for your $120, I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, a lot of people don't weigh in the fact that you do get so many base cards, and they are a premium base card. It's not like these are just standard cardboard. It's their foil board. They're very nice looking and um, pretty nice. So I would say for $120, I think it is worth it. It's about right. Certified, you know, costs a little bit less. You do get less cards and less packs. But you do surprisingly get the same amount of hits, so you're going to have to make a decision there if you want to get certified or if you want to go for the Elite. Um... I would say though that if you are going to just buy packs, um, because each box has 20 packs and only 4 hits, buying per by the pack is probably not the best way to go if you're going to try to get hits. If you want to just get inserts and rookies and, and parallel cards, getting packs is not a problem, but if you are someone who's just trying to get hits, it is, it is tougher because there's a lot more packs to sort of sift through when opening. I did want to mention one more thing in my last break, I was hoping to pull one in this one, but I didn't. Uh, these prime numbers cards. This is one I pulled in my last box. This is Mark Andre Fleury. Um, some of these might be confusing to people. This card is numbered. Let me look. This is card number 98 of 184. 98 of 184. And and so you might think there are 184 of these Mark Andre Fleury jersey cards, but in fact that's not the case. These, um, if you check out Panini's um, information on these cards, that means they've broken up these cards into different tiers. So there's 184 total of all of these types of cards. 
the plain jersey card there are a hundred of so that's where the 100 comes from there's gonna be an autograph card just as autograph and there's gonna be 80 of those that's what the 8 stands for and then there's a patch auto version numbered to just four and that's what the four stands for so 184 a hundred jersey cards 80 autograph cards and four patch autos and so you know how hard it will be to complete um, the set of three of these prime number cards but those who do um, will I'd be really happy and it'll look actually really spectacular. So these are great looking cards. They're very, very thick. I'd use a thick top loader to get this in there. But um, it is a beautiful card and I did enjoy pulling this Mark andre Fleury last time. I hope I pulled one in this one, but I didn't. Um, but that's okay. That's all right. So for those of you who do pull the autographs or pull the patch auto versions and you see it's numbered to like a high number, it's not. So just be wary of that. Um, don't, you know, don't get tricked into trading your your amazing low numbered card just because of the the numbering on the backs of these well that was Panini um, Elite I hope you enjoyed the this video review this is the first time I've ever done this I really want to thank Panini for their generosity and sending me a box to review um, look for more Panini products as they come out and I will review them both on my site which I'll leave a link below as well as a video review again thanks for watching guys Hope you're having a great day. Hope you enjoyed the review, and I'll see you guys next time.